yes good morning students good morning everyone these are our biology students of class 12th and they are doing dna extraction today and they are using different plant materials for extracting their dna yes this is team a beta what materials you have used i have performed dna extraction experiment from spinach leaves okay from spinach okay the materials required for the experiment are then glucose the test tube spinach leaves papaya salt filter paper okay shampoo. so you have isolated the dna from spinach leaves okay um now for the procedure we have we have to prepare three solutions solution a containing filtered spinach juice solution b distilled water plus shampoo and nsa we have to mix slowly to avoid the foam formation and in solution c we have taken filtered papaya juice so for the next steps uh, in a test tube we will add some solution a that is spinach juice then solution b uh, then we have to shake the test tube and mix the solution and liquid it then we have to add solution c mix and then leave it undisturbed for 10 to 15 minutes now for the reaction to take place and the cell membrane to break down so beta uh, just explain in easy way that what materials you have used here what is there in this tray uh, yes, and uh, where is your dna extracted uh, extracted we have grinded and make a uh, juice of spinach okay then we have added it in a uh, large test tube okay then we have added some uh, distilled water hmm. nacl and shampoo solution Okay. What is the function of shampoo uh, here? Um, it will break down the um, cell membranes. Ah, it acts as a weak detergent yes, and it helps to break the cell membranes so, so that the fluid juice. come out. Okay. We use papaya juice. It contains papain enzyme. It will act strongly. Okay. Uh, we have added the same and left it on disturb for ten to fifteen minutes. Then we have added chilled ethanol. Uh, chilled ethanol will make the sol uh, DNA insoluble, so it will it appear as helps in stress. precipitation of DNA. Yes, okay. So here is the DNA precipitated. Very good. This is from spinach, yes, right? Yes. Spinach. So you have made DNA isolation here. Very good. So this is our next group. They have done DNA isolation from pea. Pea. Yes. What materials you have used, Bacho? Materials are same. Where is your result? Here is our result. We can see. We have taken less pea. And so when the DNA is very, uh, in very less amount, mm -hmm. in this white precipitated the DNA. Okay, so it's not so much clear here in P, but coming to the third group, they have isolated the DNA from papaya. Okay, so you have taken papaya and uh, you have followed all the procedure of DNA extraction, and where is your result? Yes. Where is DNA? How will you explain it? This white precipitated structure in the upper side is DNA. Okay. This is with cold and hot water bath, and then this is without cold and hot water bath. So here we can see, uh, Dave. Yes. Will you please give that DNA? Yes. This is from papaya, and this is from spinach. You can see clearly the DNA precipitated here. Yes, very good. So well done, students. 